Hello again, and welcome to episode number three of Construction Rocks. Now you may notice two things that are missing. One, my hair, and two, my safety glasses. Yep, I miss my hair too. Now I'm not trying to lead you astray on the safety glasses, it's just that we don't need them this time. So on this episode of Construction Rocks, I will be talking about the Pythagorean Theorem and how it applies to construction. Now for those that do not know already, the Pythagorean Theorem is a famous geometry theorem which helps people find the sides of a right triangle. Now, a right triangle has one 90 degree angle inside of it. Now, blocks A and B are the legs of the right triangle. Block C which is the longest side, is called the hypotenuse. The legs A and B are what form the 90 degree angle. Now, the actual equation for the Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So what this means is, is that when we square A and we add it to the square of B, we get the hypotenuse squared. So for example, suppose we have a triangle like this, and we know that A is 4 and B is 3, all right? So how do we find this length? Well, what we do is we take 4 squared, added to 3 squared, which will give us 25. And what is the square root of 25? Well, it'll equal 5. So this length right here is going to be 5, right there. Simple as that. Now, you may be thinking to yourselves, but Kassler, what the heck does this have to do with construction? Well, let me show you Grasshoppers. So suppose we want to lay out the perimeter of a house. We want to make sure that it's squared, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, come on. Who doesn't want it squared? So carpenters can use this theorem to make sure that their house layout is squared. Let me show you how. So let's suppose that this represents a corner of a house. Looks square, doesn't it? But let's check to make sure. Now, the inside edge of this board right here is supposed to be 24, which, is it, which it is. And this inside length is supposed to be 17, right there. Now, using the Pythagorean theorem, let's calculate the diagonal of this corner right here and see if it really is a right triangle. Now, if we had a carpenter's calculator, it will solve it for you automatically, giving it in inches and fractions of inches. But most of you don't have this. So, can you trick your regular old calculator to give you inches and fractions of inches anyway? Yes. And I am just the person to show you how it's done. So, let's get a solving. So, it's just like our last problem, only with different numbers. So here, we have 24, and here, we have 17. Get all this other stuff away. Make that a better. Okay, so, we are trying to find this length, right? So, just like last time, 24 squared plus 17 squared equals C squared. So, let's calculate. Equal. Okay, when I calculated all that stuff, this is the number that I got. 
three, four. Now, do carpenters like this decimal number? No. So instead, this is what they do. They take out the 29 and they write it as 29 inches, okay? And then they take this decimal number right here. So let's write it out. So 0 0.4108834. And then they times it by 16. And this will give them that inch fraction that they want. So let's do that. Okay, so what I get is 6.57411744. So what I do is I round up to the nearest whole number, which will be seven. And so the length C equals 29 and seven sixteenths inches. So now, let's see if this is really square. Oopsies. It looks like we're 7 sixteenths off. So, let's adjust it. Do, 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 do. There we go. It's perfectly square. So, Mr. Speed Square, what do you think about it? Looks all right, mate. Nothing wrong with it. Oh, why, thank you, Mr. Speed Square. Now. Wait, wait. I haven't finished yet. Sheesh. Okay, just to recap, what you have learned today, you have learned the Pythagorean theorem and how to find the sides by using it. You have also learned how to use this when making sure that house corners are squared. So grasshoppers, go and tell your construction teachers and astound them. All right, my next episode is just around the corner. I am still John Kessler, and I'll see you next time. It's okay, you can come out now. Thank you.